Beginner Astral Photography. This is how I got started. And if you're new to astral photography like I am, you have to do a lot of research. Of course, you'll need a camera, a tripod, and a telescope. I've always been fascinated by our moon. And uh, so when I decided to start taking some astral photos, the moon was the uh, logical first target for me. It's an easy object to photograph. It doesn't require a tracking mount. And the moon is bright enough to take snapshot style exposures. Okay, so I was looking for a nice lightweight and sturdy tripod and mount for my small refractor. And the Versigo 2 turned out to be a very good choice. The camera that I use is a Panasonic GH2. It's a very, very good camera. And um, my first refractor is the Explore Scientific's uh, ED80, 80 millimeter refractor, very nice little scope. I also have a nice reflector telescope, but I know from experience that sometimes it would be nice just to have a small scope, an easy setup, portable that you can put together quickly and uh, take outside to look at the moon or just some general stargazing. And uh, so this nice little refractor is just what I was looking for. And as you can see, it slides right on the mount easy and um, just easy to operate and lightweight. The telescope only weighs about seven and a half pounds and it's, uh, it's a triplet, an ED airspace triplet and uh, 480 millimeter focal length and just a very nice uh, little scope. Uh, this diagonal comes with the telescope. It's a two inch diagonal. And the thing I liked about it is that this diagonal will accept either inch and a quarter or two inch eyepieces. The Crayford style focuser is also really awesome. I've never had a, a two speed focuser like this. So here we go. We slide the diagonal onto the uh, scope, tighten up the screws. And to use your inch and a quarter uh, eyepiece, you're just going to remove that center plug right there. So we take that center plug out, and that inch and a quarter eyepiece goes right in there. Or by removing this, you can use your two inch eyepiece. I've purchased a couple of Explore Scientific's eyepieces. And this one is a 6.7 millimeter inch and a quarter eyepiece. And now we'll take off the uh, adapter here and we can put on my 18 millimeter 2 inch eyepiece. Now the moon is a pretty bright object and so you're going to want a polarizing filter if you're going to be looking at the moon very much. Uh, this one here is a variable polarizer. And the nice thing about it is that it's adjustable. By turning this little ring right here, you can determine how much light you want to pass through that filter. So I'll put it together here and then I'll show you how it works. Okay, so we've got it together. And as you can see, by turning that ring, it gets darker. And then there we go, it's getting lighter. So you can adjust how bright uh, that view is of the moon. Especially when it's a full moon, it's uh, pretty bright. It can hurt your eye if you, if you didn't have that filter. So I discovered that instead of leaving the filter together and, and attaching it to the uh, eyepiece, if I take one section of it and screw it into my eyepiece, and then I'll take the other section and, and screw that onto the bottom of the diagonal, when I put the eyepiece in the diagonal, I can just turn the eyepiece to adjust the polarizing filter. So I get it in there, just snug those bolts up a little bit, and then as I turn the eyepiece, the image will get uh, darker or brighter. So now we'll put it on the uh, telescope. There we go, we've got the eyepiece, diagonal, and the polarizing filter in there. So as I'm viewing, I can just turn that eyepiece 
to adjust the brightness of the moon. So it's time to take an astro photo. So here I've got my uh, Panasonic GH2 DSLR. And the nice thing is you can remove the lens from the camera body. And then you're going to need a T adapter, or in this case, I've got a thing called a T minus adapter, which screws right onto the camera. And then I'll need that extension to uh, use with my refractor. And this filter I can uh, screw on there so that it, uh, no dust or dirt will get down in there onto my uh, camera uh, sensors. So here we go with the adapter for the camera. And there is specific for the brand of camera that you have. You can get one for Canon or Nikon. And then here is the extension. And by putting that on there, it allows me to uh, reach focal point when I put the camera on the telescope. And then I have this clear adapter that screws onto the end of the whole thing here. And like I said, that will keep any dust or dirt from getting down in there and onto my camera sensor. All right, so we've got everything ready to go, and it's time to attach to the telescope. And that's how easy it is. It's quite a lot of weight there, so you want to make sure that uh, you have everything snugged up so that thing stays right in place. And so now we've got the camera ready to go. I'll turn it on. And I did a little bit of uh, experimenting, and I discovered that uh, the, the thing you have to do is touch your screen right there uh, as you're viewing the moon, and then uh, that'll that'll double the um, magnification, so you can really get a good look at the moon. And by using your telescope's uh, focuser, you can bring the image into into focus on your camera. So this is how you focus your camera. So this was the first picture that I took of the moon, and I played around with various exposures and just took a whole bunch of pictures to uh, see what exposure and, you know, shutter speed and so on would work best. So why not start out in astrophotography by um, keeping it simple and taking a few pictures of the moon. There's a lot to learn, but it's a fun trip. Enjoy, everybody.